Hey everybody, this is Chris Nelson at Go Engineer, and in today's video, we will be going over how to create a drawing from a finished part. So I have this finished part right here. It is an oven rack that I created in a previous video, and I would like to make a drawing out of it. Normally, you would come here to the new SolidWorks document and choose drawing, but SolidWorks has added some functionality to simplify the process a little bit. So if you go to File, click Make Drawing from Part. And by selecting that, we can choose any of these options. I'll be using the A and C landscape. And it gives us our drawing. And it will add the name of the model down the bottom right. It's already selected it. And in the view palette on the right, it shows all the views of the model. And we can very quickly add one. So let's take this top file, this top view, and drag it right here. And then the prompt on the left will automatically change to a projected view. So we can add projected views simply by moving our mouse in different directions based on the model right there. I will add these two views, and they will be based on the top view. Now click the green check mark, and go back to the view palette. Now to finish out this drawing, I would like to add an isometric view, so we can drag it right here, place it, and then move any views we would like. You will notice that the projected views will be based off of that main view that we placed. Also, when we click on a view, we have a few options to customize that view. So I want to come down here in Display Style and click Shaded. It will give it the look of what the piece will actually look like, not just wireframe. So if we zoom in a little bit, you will see it's actually a shaded view and not the wireframe like the other views. If we come in the Annotation Toolbar, we have the Smart Dimension Tool. And the Smart Dimension Tool works exactly like the tool using it in a sketch but we cannot change anything. So we can zoom in and choose dimensions we would like. So I'll give it the height from this view. Click it. I'll go in real quick and add some custom text positioning to just make it look a little better. I think it looks better. And we can keep using this tool as many times as we would like. So I will add one more dimension. And we can use this to communicate any information you would like in the drawing. It's super useful and easy to do. And once you are happy with your drawing, come to File, click Save As, and not only can you save it as a drawing file, you can also save it as a PDF, a JPEG, a PNG file, or as a DXF or eDrawings file for use in other applications. I hope you found this SOLIDWORKS tutorial useful. If you would like to continue improving your skills in SOLIDWORKS, enroll in one of our courses at Go Engineer.